Yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be talking about Kaiser, one of my favorite animes ever made. I know this anime word to word, heart to heart, man. Right off the bat, I have to say, this is one beautiful anime. The art style, the animation is top notch. This is one of my favorite dialogue driven anime. I mean, to give a sample, it starts off with the main bad guy wishing for someone to kill him. It is so powerful, it just grabs your attention right off the bat. Mosari Obari is the art director and director from this um, anime and I have to admit I love his his art style I love his movies every time I see his movies I see something different and I appreciate that this OVA has a strong theme and that theme is love every character showcases a different aspect of love and it's really cool to see just to give you a sample the main godlike villain is in love with a human and you have the love between a master and a servant and you have the childhood friend you have the love relationship you have the love between siblings and you have the that love between like uh just friends and yeah it's so freaking cool going more in depth there's these characters that are brothers and sister and the brother has the the ability the item that gives them the power but he has two of them because he's holding it for his sister and that power is giving him immense pain and he's suffering through life to save his sister from that burning but yet that same burning is making his life miserable but he's doing it all just for love and when he dies his sister goes in the mad race trying to get revenge and his sister is a kind hearted person so she goes against her nature just to get revenge for her brother and yeah that was super cool to see and then you have the master, there's another villain, and he had an apprentice, and he wanted to grow the apprentice's power. So he went to kill the apprentice's sister, but his sister fell in love with the master. So when the master went to kill the sister, the sister offered her life towards him because she loved him so much. And that was not the plan, because he wanted her screams to enrage the, the apprentice so the apprentice could go stronger. And that was a, a way of love that you don't see that much. That you love so someone so much that you offer your own your own head. And in the end, the apprentice wanted to kill the master, but he realized that he never wanted to kill the master. He wanted to set the master free. And that's the thing. Like you see all these Disney type loves, but you don't get to see the toxic, the evil, the the messed up part of love. And this is what this anime shows you. This anime shows you that the power of love could help you endure great hardships, but that's not a good thing. You could be just causing yourself immense suffering because you love someone. This anime doesn't spend a lot of time giving you backstory for every single character. It only gives you the backstory from characters that actually have something to tell. Like for example, this one character grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth. There was no joy in his life because everything he did was perfect and he got this power and he rebelled with this power he became evil and well not really evil but you know he became this persona of of the grim reaper and i like that i could relate to that and it's pretty cool to see that like just because you have everything doesn't make you happy i personally like the fast space of the anime I love the final boss of this anime. It is a godlock deity that is collecting the will of the people and giving them their wish. And the wish of the people, because of their insecurity of their depression, is the fear of the future. So in her mind, she's answering the people's wish by not giving them the future. So she's going to destroy the future. She's going to destroy the world. So people won't have that nervous reaction of like, what's going to happen? And that's something that I could relate to, that I could understand. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. There's one scene that appears out of nowhere, but it's just a special scene and I love it so much. And it's iconic to me that when our main hero is pretty much dying and gave up, an angel appeared and offered him help. And he she basically tells him that to get back up. And he's like, I can't. I've done so much wrong things and she's like the only way you could move forward is by repenting and you have to live to repent and 
he she explains to him that there are people watching over him since the moment he was born and this is his great strength this is what makes him different is his secret weapon compared to the bad guy and that was so powerful and i could relate to that and yeah it's just one of my favorite scenes and it like i said it comes out out of nowhere but i'm thankful for it man all right yo this is cole kaiser and y'all check it guys later one more day peace out guys